Gus Imagine putting a monster truck on a vegetable plot. It sounds outlandish, but this is what the Gus, or Global Unmanned Spray System, looks like. It was designed by American engineers, and its formidable look presents a rational approach to business. The aerospace shuttle-style design is a safety precaution. With its help, Gus can harmlessly maneuver between trees without damaging their branches. Given the fact that the garden drone will be used in industrial-scale plantations, this approach seems reasonable enough. The sparkling self-contained sprayer features a set of sensors, lasers, and cameras. These allow the vehicles to move freely along a given route. The system constantly transmits information to the control center. An operator monitors the condition of the trees and devises a future route for the Gus. One person can control up to eight drones. An unmanned sprayer is capable of self-diagnosing and detecting malfunctions in its systems. Jacto Arbus 400 The brilliant Gus does not conclude our introduction to unmanned irrigation systems for agronomists. Jacto Arbus 400 JAV drone is a kind of analog of the previous device. In its third generation of development, this drone is capable of remote scanning of the field, and irrigation works along a given route. Arbus uses laser analysis to measure the size and growth of plants. Any deviations from the norm are instantly passed on to the operator. The irrigation model is of particular interest. It features a system with multiple valves, fans, and nebulizers that greatly improve the efficiency of liquid atomization. The drone tank holds 4,000 liters. The heart of the Arbus is its 132 horsepower diesel engine. Other features include intelligent steering, independent suspension, and unitrack chassis with minimum turning radius. The first units will appear on a limited list of farms in 2021. Cavernland 6300 S Variomat In one of our previous episodes, we talked about a drifting snowblower. However, there is a similar machine for agricultural fields. This is the Convernaland 6300 S Variomat mounted reversible plow that operates in tandem with a Case IH340 tractor. Thanks to a special swivel clutch and a highly maneuverable rear wheel, the plow drifts sideways during operation. This significantly increases the processing speed of the field. The machine adapts to different types of soil, has a hydraulic torch adjustment, and has a variomat system which adjusts the plowing width without pausing the operation. The body of the Convernalin 6300S plow is made of a durable alloy that has undergone a proprietary heat treatment. Both manual and remote plow settings are available. Belarus 152H Belarus is famous for its agricultural machinery, especially when it comes to tractors. Belarus 152H is a small-sized unit designed for servicing fields and vegetable plots, as well as performing various utility tasks. This mini tractor with a capacity of 11.8 horsepower weighs only 1,433 pounds, which is a very low weight for such a machine. Versatility and economy are the main advantages of this vehicle. A tractor is not only suitable for tillage and cultivation of fields and plantations, but also can be used as a lawnmower, a tow car, or a snowblower. Frame structure, hydraulic suspension, and PTO are included. In an enhanced version, the manufacturer offers a 22-horsepower diesel engine, a heated cabin, and a power steering. Compatibility with a wide range of attachments turns a small tractor into a versatile soldier. Plows, cultivators, trailers, and a dozen other devices provide enhanced functionality for the vehicle. In addition to fieldworks, this tractor can easily cope with snow removal, waste disposal, and street cleaning. At the same time, its dimensions are ideal for maneuvering in narrow spaces. Fent Zaver Our excursion into the world of compact agricultural developments does not end there. Fent took care of this with the next generation of field robots. Their autonomous sewing drone was named Zaver and is even smaller than the Belarusian mini tractor. The three-wheeled vehicle weighs only 330 pounds and is slightly larger than a garden cart. The main feature of this robot lies in the collective working capacity of such drones. A swarm of six Xavier drones can seed a 3-hectare field in one hour. With a battery capacity of 2.6 kilowatt hours, one battery charge lasts for 90 minutes of continuous operation. After discharging, the robot independently returns to the service station and replenishes energy reserves. The Fend One drone control system is implemented in such a way that the operator can set up a 24-7 field service. 
It is important to note that the low weight of the unit eliminates damage to the soil. And in terms of efficiency, the Zaver is significantly ahead of manual labor. An electric drive in turn contributes to an environmentally friendly approach to field processing. Felco Mini X Wheel Have you heard of industrial excavator compactors? Such is the attachment module for the special equipment Felco Mini X Wheel. This device ensures stable soil in areas where construction or repair works are taking place. The main responsibility is assigned to a huge clutch unit, which resembles gears connected into one hole. This unit is compatible with most modern excavators, including relatively small models. The wheel roller is made of heavy-duty metal, and the clutch system is designed in such a way as to prevent soil from getting between them. The Felco Mini X Wheel Module Mount allows installation of the seal in any direction. In most cases, such units are used in hard-to-reach areas with unstable soils. Honda Work Vehicle Unmanned transport systems have enormous potential. Honda not only understands this, but is working to develop a versatile cargo drone. The project is called the Autonomous Work Vehicle and combines broad off-road qualities with unlimited unmanned capabilities. Basically, Honda is trying to create a transport with applications in multiple areas of human activity. Outwardly, the device resembles a futuristic ATV, but instead of a driver's seat, there is special equipment installed on the top of the car. This could be a firefighting kit, a medical bed for transporting patients, or just a load space for building materials. Potential use even includes a police modification of the autonomous work vehicle. This module has several modes of operation, including following, moving along a programmed route, and plying between two points. The vehicle orients in space using sensors and radars. At the same time, the off-road chassis easily copes with rough terrain in construction areas. Since its launch, the machine has managed to prove its worth in firefighting areas, shooting grounds, and even in solar panel installation companies.